Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we'll be solving this uh, puzzle called detect floating point number. So let's go through this. <clears throat> uh, so you might be aware of this uh, floating point decimal numbers only we have to detect in a string. Here you can see you'll be given a string n and your task is to verify n is a floating point number or not. Okay. And in this task, a valid float number must satisfy all the following requirements. So you have to satisfy these four requirements. Uh, this you can see with this arrow. First requirement, second requirement, third requirement, fourth requirement. So if you will satisfy this, if uh, this four uh, conditions on one string, then you will call that string floating point number. Okay, decimal only you have to check whether the number has decimal or not. So that is uh, the task. So you can see the first condition is number can start with plus minus or dot symbol okay for example here you can see it is starting from plus it is starting from minus it is starting from dot minus dot plus dot they all are fine because they are starting with either plus minus or dot but this is not correct plus minus cannot be together so this is our first condition now second condition is number must contain at least one decimal value okay so here you can see this guy is not having any decimal value you can see after dot there should be one one uh, value one two three or something but there is nothing here whereas in this one you have dot zero is there so you can you can see that second guy is having at least one decimal value after the dot okay so that's called that decimal value third condition is it should exactly have one dot symbol okay must have exactly one dot symbol this dot should not be like two three dots are there in the string then finally number must not give any exception when converted using float n okay so you have to check uh, if a float is uh, working on that string or not if it is not a it will it should not show any exception okay, so you you can see that try an exception thing we can we could be using here so we'll be given with test cases, uh, t test cases will be there. So n string, uh, string n will be there. So total test of our all test cases, we have to tell whether the number is a uh, floating point number or not. So here you can see uh, four test cases are given to us. First is 4.000. This is O. You can see that inside uh, circle, if there is a dot means zero, but here it is not. So this is not a, not a floating point number. This is a floating point number. You can see it is starting with negative. Only one dot is there. After dot, there is one decimal value. Uh, plus, if you will uh, put this inside a float, it will not uh, provide any error inside this float. Okay. Same goes for this guy. And fourth guy is not at all any number. So, it should show false. Okay. Here you can see the explanation. Zero is not a digit. Is valid. Valid. Some random number is not a number. So, you, you can see it it is not easy to get the logic right i mean you might be thinking how i'm gonna use for or if as type of thing and it is not you you really have to rely on regex and parsing you can see parsing is different thing that we will be looking at later regex is the thing uh, you have to use it so here tutorial also you can see uh, it's given to us so detecting floating points so re is regular expression or regex specifies a set of strings that matches it so you will put some regular expression so that these conditions will be checked inside your given string okay so you can see a regex is a sequence of character that uh, defines a search pattern pattern is uh, um, this is what you will be looking at okay uh, so that is some series of char uh, characters that looks for pattern that, that is the language I am, I am introducing you to mainly for the use of uh, string pattern matching you can see string is uh, what will be given to us and pattern is something that we have to match these guys okay so there is some method the two methods are used mostly uh, one is uh, re dot search with that uh, expression scans through a string looking for the first location where the regex pattern ma produces a match so it looks for a uh, uh, first location where the pattern will produce a match means match is means like whatever the pattern you have provided matches the string okay it either returns a match object instant or none if no position in the string 
matches the pattern so either it will return none or it will return match object so for example you can see import re print bool re dot search r l y similarly so you can see this pattern this we will be using more mostly so boolean you can see that it is just generating true whether uh, if the condition inside the bracket is uh, true or not then you can see re dot search what is doing this r will be is kind of a syntax you can see and this is the pattern what is inside the inverted comma ly so it is telling re dot search is what it is doing it is searching for this pattern ly in in a string similarly okay so since there is uh, ly here so it will match and this condition will be uh, true and boolean will produce true here right that is how it is working there is another method which is called re dot match expression only matches at the beginning of the string okay in the beginning only here it is first location wherever it is available it will match <clears throat> but here if it is only available in the beginning then only it will match either returns a match object or none if uh, does not match the pattern here you can see re uh, import re boolean same thing is there same thing is there but it is returning false because ly is not in the beginning of string okay that is the the uh, difference here you can see ly if you will see in this string in the beginning you can see ly is there that is why it is generating true here okay so this guy what you are providing is a string this is the pattern this is part of syntax and this is the method and boolean you know how it is doing so this is some some sort of uh, uh, introduction thing you can imagine so we will be using match thing okay so here you can see how we will be uh, uh, attacking this problem see import re we have to do then we have to take t test case values uh, test case values um, uh, int input you can also put this inside a uh, for loop uh, but uh, still i keep uh, in differently in uh, separately uh, sorry so range 0 to t 0 to t just like what we have done in the previous part now what i'll do is <coughs> uh, we'll be using try and exception again because uh, there is a fourth condition you can see it should uh, not give any exception if it will give any uh, exception we have to write false or something okay so fourth condition boolean i am writing uh, float float inside this i am providing a string okay a string and a string i'll define here so just uh, i'm storing the input inside a string so for every test case it will take the string it will check for this 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 will check else except except print false false okay so what what it will do it will uh, it will uh, initially import re then it will take the number of test cases for each test cases it will take the input store it in a string and first it will check the fourth condition this the number must not give any exception when converted using float and right so if float and i am doing float of string if this uh, condition is true it will uh, generate uh, to boolean i mean it will not print anything it will just execute it will just execute and come to the next line but if it will be false or it will if it will be any uh, it will show any error then it will come to accept and print false okay that is why this exception is needed uh, to check so fourth condition is done now what i'll do i'll print a long expression just bear with me i'll explain everything boolean same style what uh, was given in the in the uh a tutorial re dot match then inside bracket what i am doing is i have to put the pattern 
as well as the string. So string I'll give here. String I have given. Now here I have to write R and then inside this pattern. So this is the most important thing. Inside pattern what you are writing is most important. Okay. So let's let me write it. So this is how you start the expression. Okay. This is how you start the pattern. Means what you have to check in this is string. So this means this upper thing is means start of the expression. Here you can see matches the start of the string. Okay. So it will go in inside the string and it will start from the beginning. That is what it means. Then what I'll do is I'll check for plus minus dot. So inside bracket you can write bracket means what you can see here. Bracket means square bracket means indicate the set of characters. So we are looking for set of characters. What are those set of characters? Plus, comma, separate, minus, uh, then comma, dot. These things we want right in the beginning. And this guy is uh, means it will start from the beginning. Okay, and it will look for either plus, minus, or dot. Okay, and then question mark I am doing zero to nine. Okay, zero to nine. What question marks means here? You can see where is this causing uh, re uh, resulting uh, re regular expression to match zero or one repetition of the preceding re. Preceding re is what this guy. Either it will be zero or one repetition. Okay, so preceding re causes the resulting re. To match zero or one repetition of the preceding array. So here you can see the either it can be available or it can not be available. Here you can see, right? So both the things it will taken care of by this question mark. After that, I have written zero to nine, and then I will write a star. Star. What does this mean? This means it will look for some value after the sign, which is between zero to nine, and it can be any repetition. Means any repetition could be there. This star means causes the resulting regular expression to match zero or more repetition of the preceding array. What is preceding array? Preceding array is zero to nine. What does this means? This means it can be uh, plus forty point one. Uh, for, uh, plus 40 or um, plus 1 plus 2 it could be any any digit i mean uh, it could be one digit two digit two digit three digit four digit that is what taken care by this star okay so that is what is it means here it can match zero or more there could not be any number here here you can see before dot there is no number right so zero repetition or there could be one digit two digit three digit four digit numbers so that is being taken care by star then i'll write bracket expression slash slash dot now why slash see dot is why because we have to look for dot now okay we have started from plus minus then there is a number then this is decimal number so decimal point we have to check but why there is slash here So you can see the expression ex explanation. It, it is either escapes special character to uh, permitting you to match characters like star question mark. See, dot has its own meaning here. In default mode, it matches any character except a new line. But if you literally want to use dot, then you have to use slash. After that only you can use. So it is. Permitting you to use the literal literal uh, character this guy dot, okay. So hopefully you are getting the feel. So this dot we got uh, dot. After that we have to check for decimal now. So uh, and plus also it has to be only once. Dot has to be only once. So inside curly braces, curly braces, I'll write one. See what is the meaning of curly braces? You can see here M. So specifies that exactly m copies of the previous re should be matched. Okay, previous re is what? Previous re is dot. Only exactly m copies. M value I am providing is one because we have to match only exactly one dot symbol. So this is being taken care of now. 
okay so uh, exactly one dot symbol now you need to have uh, again decimal values so 0 to 9 0 to 9 and it could be any any uh, any repetition so star again i'll write okay star means what zero or more repetition okay so that is uh, what um, our our expression is and then we will close it close it so this means closing end of the uh, string okay so this is what will search this is uh, your regex pattern from here till here that's where you have to apply your brain this coded thing it will check inside this string for all these four conditions <coughs> okay so must contain at least one decimal so you can see uh uh zero to one basically it should be uh plus right to match one or more repetition of the preceding array sorry uh plus means one or more uh dot means a star means zero or more more so plus and then it uh, you stopped uh, the expression so uh, it is new something new but uh, you have to get used to of it see i told you you if you don't read the docs you won't be able to uh, decode this stuff decoding is something right uh, it's difficult so it, this means starting then we are checking for plus minus dot which is this condition then we are uh, seeing that whether zero or uh, how many uh, whether causing zero or one repetitions only Will, which will be taken care by this question mark then we have to look for the decimal uh, the values before uh, dot how many it is available this is checking the dot exactly one dot should be there and this is checking uh, one or more decimal value okay so this all four condition has been met here so now every every string will come it will uh, it will print the uh, true value here and uh, it will uh, again next string it will take and it will do the same thing okay so let me run it hopefully you got the feel so false false true false hmm i think uh, false this should be true no true false i think uh, that uh, star thing is necessary i think zero or one let me check zero or one no it's still not working hmm any problem hai false false true false hmm this is not the problem means re dot match r star hmm this has to be single or what uh single no it is not correct float a string And then boolean re dot match uh, minus plus or dot i think it is correct no minus plus or dot hmm then question mark is there zero two nine star slash then one zero two nine plus match okay c r c h yeah so that was the mistake actually i was doing uh, search means what it can it will search for anywhere right i was searching in the beginning only uh, whether it this condition matches in the beginning or not 
so this is not possible now uh, uh, means you go you have to check this pattern anywhere in the string no so that's why that was the problem Hmm. Let's see. All the test cases are passed. So yeah. So I hope you got the glimpse of uh, how regex pattern is. So you can see it's a completely different thing. You have to really learn the expression, their meaning, their symbol. What is this? So that you will get a feel um, how this is working. Plus also uh, there are some difficult ones like this. We'll be using. so the meaning of these will be should be known to you this capital s what does w mean small w capital w all these things we will see okay uh, so yeah let's move on to the next problem now 